Hello, and uh, welcome to another Edgar Draws. Uh, this time I'm doing something with pixel art uh, for anybody who is interested in that sort of thing. That's exactly what I'm doing now. Uh, basically, in pixel art, when I'm drawing it anyway, uh, the main thing is to uh, have a base sketch first, uh, which is what you saw at the beginning, and then uh, you would have, or you, I would scale it down to the appropriate size of what I'm trying to draw, right? And then I would start uh, drawing over it. Uh, first, I would start with what I call the base lines. Uh, that becomes a guide for my actual colored lines. Uh, the colors being uh, green and other color box that I uh, pasted from my last picture, the Spear Maiden. And of course, here you can see me uh, drawing the outline with the black pixels. Uh, you saw I had to fix the arm a little. Uh, sometimes when you do a full size sketch and you scale it down, it uh, sometimes doesn't look right in the pixels. Uh, in fact, I made a fairly grave mistake with my posing and my anatomy, um, but I won't tell you exactly what it is uh, if you can uh, point it out at the end of the video and see the difference between the uh, picture that I draw in the actual video and the uh, finished product that I post at the end of the video then, you know, you, you should feel special, or you can uh, say something about it. It doesn't really matter, because I, I fixed it, I noticed it. But, anyway, uh, as you can see, I made some comparisons with the last picture that I made. Uh, I was trying to ensure that I had a bit of continuity between the two, uh, since they are from the same species. Uh, these characters are both different enemies that uh, the players will face in an RPG that I am working on with, RPG Maker MV. Uh, I am turning these into side view battlers. Uh, these battlers, you see, is like, I, I don't like how the battlers in uh, MV look with their big heads and little bodies, so I wanted to make them look more like they were from a fighting game, uh, something that I felt was a little more appropriate to uh, face in combat and actually see on an RPG field uh, rather than the chibi big headed. Uh, in... eh, anyway, I don't want to. Uh, say too much bad because I know that there are a lot of people who do enjoy the weird headed chibi warriors that uh, you know, band together to save the world or whatever they're doing. Uh, here, let's see, what I'm doing with the colors is that I'm blocking out the shapes of the body. I'm uh, more or less giving a feel for the form, not impressing it upon people to the point that I would normally do with a, a huge uh, normal size image, but I'm more giving the idea by the shadows. Um, I only use three levels of full shading. Uh, I use like the base and a dark and two darker tones. Uh, the more darker of the two tones is usually used to uh, split the outlines so that you can see uh, more clearly where, like, the uh, the hip becomes the tail, that sort of thing. Or uh, if you can see the fingers in front of the rest of the hand, uh, then they will receive the uh, more slightly lighter outline. And then I will have one color above that, above the base, which is the light area, uh, which is where you get shininess. Because, you know, reptiles, they have scales, they can get a little shiny. 
although these are based on uh, monitor lizards, so instead of scales, they just have rock skin. Oh, now I am creating the outfit to put on her. Uh, the main idea was that I would first draw her uh, physical form nude so that it was a lot easier to impress the rest of the um, outfit upon her. Um, I am, since she is using a thorny whip vine as her weapon, I am decorating her outfit with roses and different flowery looks, but I'm also giving her a bit of a, a dominatrix appearance, only slightly, with her outfit, uh, since it is form-fitting on her torso and on her legs, uh, which you will see very shortly. Uh, but here I have the roses that I'm making. Uh, they are also in uh, five different color, or five different shades of red, um, with the shiny bit where the light would uh, best hit it, and using the two outline colors in order to uh, suggest the shape of the flower, rather than uh, fully forming it, since at this uh, level of pixelation, you really cannot. Uh, let's see, here I am making the leggings, which, like I said, I thought form-fitting would be nice to sort of fit with the appeal of the characteristics of the uh, combatant. Uh, the She is a magic user and a warrior at the same time, and her weapon of choice is the Thorny Lash, which she can control with skill and magic. Now, here I am uh, modifying the outline of the outfit so that it uh, better suits her flesh tones. The flesh tones, I don't really work on them uh, very well during this video. I uh, usually modify the flesh to then show that there is an outfit on her. Uh, I work on that a little more after the video is over, and you can see that work done in the uh, final version of the image, which is going to show at the end of the video. Uh, just with, as, as with the uh, anatomy corrections that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, here I am using all five colors with the vine to create a more uh, chaotic and natural appearance with the uh, vine itself, uh, while also leaving a few extra pixels in order to show that, um, you know, it has thorns on it, so it is spiny. Uh, and anybody who was watching very closely will see that I switched music because my CD was over. Anyway, there we go. That is about the end of the video. Uh, there is the uh, version of the Icarian Vine Lasher, as before I make the corrections. Now, let's see the corrected version. Can you see the differences? Can you see the shading that I worked into it a little better? Well, I will see you next time. I'll try to put out another video like this next week. Goodbye.